channel. My name is Tracy. The end is kicking around and because I have a Nordstrom trunk club, Chloe is totally not at all interested. But when she sees one of the things in here, she's going to be super jealous. If you're new, welcome. Thanks so much for joining us. And if you're returning, you'll know that it is as hot as it can be because I got clothes in. Uh, but thank you for continuing to join us. Uh, the rest of the house is super air conditioned. Down here it is 84 degrees, but it's the only place where I have enough room um, to kind of show you the complete look um, and have enough room to actually show you that and not be kind of squeezed in. So Nordstrom's, if you're not aware, has a trunk club. They send you items from their store. It's curated by a stylist. There is an area where you can go on and rate things that you'd like to see in future crates, uh, which I have done and I have gotten some of those items in the past. Some of the stuff is on sale sometimes when they send it to you. Other things can be a little high. You can tell them what kind of purse range you wanna be in, which I do, but sometimes when they send, they do send you a preview. Sometimes when they send you a preview, there's still some things that are like, mm, no, that is not what I'm gonna pay for that. Matter of fact, with this one, this one I got specific to try to get maybe a new bathing suit for vacation. And the bathing suit they sent me was called the, or they sent me in the preview, was called the Miracle Suit. And it's supposed to take 10 pounds off, make it look 10 pounds lighter. First of all, I need to put on five of those. So that's not gonna help me. Second of all, the top alone on the tankini was $130. The bottoms were 70 something. And a one piece was about $200. So, no thank you, I will look my 10 pounds heavier in a regular suit that does not cost me $200. Um, so the nice thing is though, they do send you a preview. You can say yes or no, you can tell them why. That's too pricey for me, that's out of my price range. I can't, you know, I, I can't spend a $200 on a bathing suit that I can wear a few months out of the year. That, that's just not, that, that's just not how I live. Now some people live, but not me. And some people live in warmer weather, so that would make sense for them. But where I live in New England, we get a, you know, about a good three months of outdoor swimming. And then other than that, unless you have a pool membership, you're pretty much not in a bathing suit. Uh, we do have a hot tub at home, but I honestly don't need to look 10 pounds slimmer for a hot tub at home. So it doesn't matter to me. I'll go in in a sports bra. Um, I'm good with that. But um, you can swap it out. And then what you can do is you can swap it out for something you're like, meh, maybe. But then you can swap that out to the point where you can like finally get something you really want, which I did do with this trunk. You could also say no, no, no to a bunch of items. And then um, they'll say, what, what else would you like? And they'll give you a bunch of categories, pants, shorts, tops, whatever. So I did that as well. Um, and so I think I got some really budget friendly pieces in here from what I recall. Um, they did, I don't wear flip-flops. I don't like the little thing in between my toes. I've mentioned that on every single thing that I'm a part of. Um, Stitch Fix, Wannable, well, Wannable does shoes. I guess they do shoes, I don't know. I've never seen shoes in their stream, maybe they don't. Um, Nordstrom, I just can't tolerate that. I don't like it, I've never liked it. Even as a kid, I couldn't wear flip-flops. They sent me like these $200 flip-flops in the preview um, that I couldn't like, I think it took me several swap downs to get what I ended up getting, which I'm so excited about. All right, well, why don't we just break into it and see what we got and I'll stop talking about it and we'll see what we got in here. There was one item that I had chosen. I don't know if it was a swap out or if it was just a refusal of things and choosing like some extra shorts, some really pretty green shorts that they then notified me before they sent this trunk out um, that it was no longer available. So, um, I'm guessing they put something else in there. I don't know what, but we'll see. Or maybe they didn't. I don't know. They do send you 10 items. And they also give you the option to do add-ons in different categories. Um, I don't know how many in total. I don't know if it's three in each category or three in total, but you can do add-ons. So, when, and, and that's like jewelry, skin care, household goods, stuff like that. There's a bunch of stuff you can add on. So when you open up this box, you want to be very careful because you are going to FedEx this back in this box. And it couldn't be easier. You go online, you tell them when you want FedEx to come, and they just send FedEx. And they just come in and take the box and you're all done. Or you can drop it off at a FedEx if you know you're not gonna be home. Staying with my mom, uh, just cause school's out and my daughter 
who needs childcare. Um, so we stay here during the week and go home on the weekends, but I, they're retired, so I can just leave it with them. Now this is a fairly light box, which I'm surprised because there should be two pairs of shoes in there. Everything does come packaged up. So I'm gonna go ahead and take everything out of the packaging that it comes in and then come back to you and we'll go over what it is, do some tryouts, and then go over prices. Okay, so another thing to know is that you do get this envelope. In here is your, um, your prices, but also two pieces of some good um, sticky tape. Should be in here. So you get some good sticky tape to seal the box back together. You do get your um, return label. And then you get your prices with a note from your stylist. Um, so it says, I'm excited for you to check out this trunk. During the next 48 hours, you can review your trunk, remove or swap out items that you do not want shipped to you, which I don't know why that's in the stylist notes. That was what they emailed me. And leave feedback on the item selected for you. Your feedback is important to us as part of the process and it helps us to get to know you and your style preferences. Don't forget to check out your picks page where you can add up to three items of your choosing. Cheers, Jennifer. Um, I feel like it's a styling team now, so you don't necessarily get the same stylist. I think I heard somebody else say that. So I'm not really sure if you would or wouldn't, if you can request it. I don't feel like you could. Last time it was a, a male, and he picked some very nice things. Um, and there were some really nice picks in here, but again, some of the things were just out of my price range. So the first thing I'm gonna show you is something that I will wear. So, I don't even think I'm going to try it on. Um, it's a one-piece bathing suit. I mean, it's a nice-looking bathing suit. Um, you know, I'm a little, I'm, I'm a little extra size, so I do need the, um, the kind of built-in bra. But it's a one-piece. Um, I don't really care for one-pieces. I like the tankini. I'm not a bikini person. But I do like a tankini with the two pieces because um, I have to use the restroom quite often. I had a kid who jumped on my bladder. She thought it was a trampoline the whole time uh, that she was in my belly. And now I, I just have some frequency issues. So this, once you take it off, you don't get it back on when it's wet. And I'm not lounging around in a hat. Speaking of hats, I think they did send me a hat too, which I think I've told them no hats. Like I have one floppy hat for the sun that's more floppy hats than I need. Um, I just gave one away because I had two. I gave one away. Um, it's a very nice bathing suit, don't get me wrong. I think it would be um, you know, nice to have this piece right here so it doesn't look like, because that's the other thing about one pieces is when you have a little weight on your stomach, it looks like you just, like you're pregnant. Um, or maybe that's just me. I don't know. So this does look like it would cut down on that. Um, but again, it is a one piece. I don't typically wear one pieces. So, um, I don't even know that I'm going to try this on. And I think that was the item that they gave me instead of the shorts. All right. By Madewell, there is just this simple black t-shirt. It is, as you can see, kind of a thinner material. You can see the lights behind me. Um, so you would need a tank under it. But one of the things I was looking for this time around were just some kind of everyday pieces because, you know, when you go on vacation, you don't dress up all the time, and particularly when you're doing sightseeing. Um, I just wanted some simple things. Um, they had this in white, but I was afraid that the white would be too see-through. So I did go with the black, even though that might be warmer. Plus, I am not the neatest person when it comes to eating, so I don't want to mess on it. All right, this was one of their choice items, and I did keep it in there. Um, it's just like a little black top. It feels like it's a linen blend. It's got, you know, these little ties up here. So it looked cute. I don't know how much use I would get out of it because of the ties, because I couldn't wear this to work, so I would wear, I would have to wear a little sweater over it, and this would obviously look kind of funny, sticking up. Um, but I said, I'll keep it in, give it a try, and if I absolutely love it, I'll keep it. But I don't even remember what the price was. 
All right, next. Oh, I guess you probably want to know the brands, right? That would be nice. I told you that the t-shirt was by Madewell. The swimsuit is blue, blue rod Betty. This little black sleeveless top is Treasure and Bond. These shorts are by BP, Be Responsible. And they're just some little white shorts. I did just get some white walking shorts from um, Loft Outlet. These are only $29. I think these were a swap out. I don't think this was one of their choice items for me, but I think I did swap it out so it would go with the um, black shirts. All right, these are the shorts that they told me they didn't have. So it must've been a different, the other pair of shorts that they didn't have. Um, these are by Treasure and Bond. The price tag on here says 39 and they're just this pretty green kind of lightweight material. And this was also a swap out. There were some other shorts that I had tried on um, in my last box that were white linen and I really liked them but they were too see-through. So they offered me them in black but you know my thought was they were $49 and that's just a little bit more than I want to spend on something that I can only wear again a few months a year and can't wear to work so it's like how often would I wear them for that price they were very very comfortable uh, Caslon they were Caslon they are in my other um, video so if you live in a warmer climate, climate, it would make sense for you. And if I did live in a warmer climate more often, uh, more frequently throughout the year, I would definitely have kept those because they were so comfortable. All right, this is by Nordstrom. And I believe this was another swap out. Um, $39. And it is just a solid pink kimono. Um, that I thought would be a nice kind of over bathing suit type thing. But at this point I have so many kimonos, I don't know that I'll keep this. And then by Circle X, just these kind of um, coral color shorts. They're just elastic waist. They're just kind of like you know, for kicking around, whatever. And these have a price tag of 29 on them. So we got some pretty budget friendly pieces. All right, for the shoes, these were a swap out for the $200 um, fancy flip flops that they offered me. Um, we have these Teva sandals and I had a pair of Teva leather sandals that lasted me for about 20 years and they finally the bottom started kind of coming apart. I glued them up I don't know how long they'll last but um, I did think it would be nice to have a nice pair of sandals because we are going to um, a beachy area and they are tie-dye. So cute. I don't remember what the cost of these were but Tiva's you know they're not cheap I think these were like 45 but again if I'm gonna get another 20 years out of these I don't mind that. And then these were something they offered me, so I did keep them in. I had asked for some shoes that were good for the beach um, in my request, and they had these in there, and I had to laugh. And Monique, when you're watching, if you're watching, you're gonna laugh because I believe you have seen these before. So my friend from Monique's Unique Critique in her last Nordstrom box got these. So I don't know if this is the item of the month. Um, I had just asked for some kind of easy slip-on shoes for the beach and this was what they picked out for me. And I said, oh, those are so cute. And then I was like, oh my goodness, those are the ones Monique got. So, um, and she said in hers, they were very comfortable and I'm just feeling them and they do feel very comfortable. All right, so I am going to try some things on, and then I'll be back. 
All right, so the first thing I'm trying on are the shorts. They have pockets. I left this top on because I felt like it was a pretty good match. Although I'm not sure how often I would wear a long sleeve shirt with shorts, but, um, but they are comfortable. They fit well. Um, they're priced right. Here are those shoes. Here are those shoes. They are every bit as comfortable as I thought they were going to be and more. So yeah, I am super excited about these shoes and these shorts. So already I think I've got two winners right out of the box. All right, let's go try on something else. All right, so I did try on the bathing suit. This is just proof I've tried it on. This is as much of it as anybody is ever going to see. Um, it's not good. It is very not good. Um, yeah, this is the most of it. I would, first of all, getting it on was very difficult. Whoever thought up one piece bathing suits should rot in a prison somewhere really bad because this is terrible. There's just nothing about this that is nice except for the neckline and the fact that gravity gets a little help. Other than that, this is, this, this is all you're seeing of it. Very bad. Okay, so I'm just going to start off with this on just to kind of see it with something else. I mean, it just doesn't go with any of this. So maybe later on, um, or tomorrow I'll try it on something different. Um, I mean, I think it would be a nice beach cover-up, but then again, I have so many kimonos that I could probably make something work. Um, what's going on? What's going on? I just don't know that this is a, a need item. All right, so the shirt and the shorts. Now, again, like I said, the shirt is very see-through. I'm wearing a black sports bra, so you can um, see that, obviously. But again, I could wear like a little tank, or even like this would be fine for me for vacation. Um, for work, I would just put a little tank top underneath of it. The shorts are very comfortable. They're very lightweight. Um, I do really like them. I'm glad that they did have them in stock. So I think these are some real contenders here as well as the coral shorts. Um, sewn up, but there are back pockets. And they're just like comfortable and easy to move in. As you can see, I've not taken off the Nike sandals to try on the Tibas yet. Um, not for any particular reason other than they're just so comfortable. The white shorts I did try on because I thought I would do the white shorts, this top, and the kimono. They do not fit. I cannot get them buttoned, so we will not be seeing those. So I'm going to try on the little black top and the tebas. Um, probably with these shorts. I don't know how well it will go, but uh, if I don't like it, I'll just throw my joggers back on and get the tebas on. All right last outfit. All right, so here is the last outfit. Um, so this is just that black top. I did just put my joggers back on. It just kind of did look looked a little weird with the shorts. Um, so I just have it on with these. It probably look better with some skinny jeans or, or pants like that. And then here are those sandals and very comfortable. And I like that they're they're a little bit more colorful. My last pair were just brown, um, brown leather. Nice, durable. These probably aren't as durable as those. Those were super durable. But the bottoms did have like some leather on it, so it wasn't always the most comfortable. I wore them to Disney the last time we went when um, when the kid was about seven. Which was seven when we went, six or seven. Um, and after one day, I was like, I cannot wear these again. So it was either put my feet and shoes I'd be sweating in or my feet and nose where the soles hurt. So these are a nice comfortable kind of foam. I do like that. Um, so I'm going to change the rotation. We'll go over prices. I'm just going to keep this top on and um, think about how I feel about it. So I am back with 
the prices. Although again, I have a pretty good idea as to what everything was, only because, you know, I saw it in preview, I made some changes, I picked some things that I felt like were a little bit more budget-friendly pieces, I kept some things that I thought were cute. So what I'm going to do is I have my Nordstrom box over there in the corner. So if I'm not going to keep it, I'm just going to chuck it back in there. I'll fold it up and make it look nice, put it back in the little bag it came in. But for now, I'm just going to chuck it in there. So this says, we hope you made some room in your closet. I hope I made some room in my shoe closet because there are two pairs of shoes in this box that I can already tell you are keepers. So I'm going to get on the glasses because it is a little bit small. All right, so the first thing on here is the Madewell Whisper Cotton V-neck tee in black. And that is $19.50. And I think that's a really good price for a nice lightweight t-shirt. Um, it is, I believe it's 100% cotton. Let me just look. Yes, this is 100% cotton. So I know some of you may be thinking, well, 20 bucks, like I can get a nicer t-shirt at, you know, Walmart or Target. But a lot of those aren't 100% cotton. Um, and so they just don't feel the same. Of course, some of the things with a little bit of spandex or whatever don't necessarily um, shrink but I do just love the softness of the cotton so this I believe is a keeper okay so this items from the depth of the underworld that's what I'm gonna call it I'm already gonna tell you it's going back that is the core sheared underwire one-piece swimsuit Size 14, blue by Rod Betty in black, $119. Now, I'm not sure what they didn't understand when I wrote about the other bathing suit, that I just don't spend that kind of money on a bathing suit. And, and my initial profile that I don't wear one pieces, but they just didn't get that. So Jennifer, you didn't do so good with that one. Okay, the next thing listed on here must have been the thing that they ran out of. It's not in this box. And those are some mineral wash shorts by Splendid in green for $34.90. I did not receive those, so I'm going to have to make sure. It's really funny because the first time I got a box, there was a pair of pants that were on this sheet, but when I went to check out, weren't on there to say I was returning it. So I let them know, like, I'm returning these. I didn't like them. I'm not keeping them. Now... I have something on here that I didn't receive, so um, my guess is it was those ones they showed me, so when I go to check out, hopefully they're not there. Okay, the Tevis sandals that are on my feet right now, let me grab one off. Now I want you to keep in mind, when I give you this price, even though they're sandals, my last pair of Tevas lasted 20 years. They were a little bit more rugged than these, but Tebas do have a really good reputation. They do last long. All right, so they're this pretty kind of tie-dye color, rainbowy like I don't know. I like it. Kind of tickles me. These are $50. They're so comfortable. They're exactly what I'm looking for. Um, They'll stay on my feet. If I were doing a lot of walking, these would be perfect. These are definitely staying. And I did pick them so I knew what they cost. But again, my experience with the Tiva brand is you're going to get some sandals that are going to last you a very long time. All right, next is the Victory One Sport Slide by Nike. That's what they're called. I've always called them shower shoes. But they're super comfortable and... They're 35 dollars. These are a size eight, so my kid can't steal them because her big dogs are size nine. But I will probably have to buy her a pair of these. I did put them on her birthday wish list, but these are super comfortable. Sorry, kiddo, and I'll fit you. It was a brief period of time 
few months where we were the same size shoe. But because she wasn't going to school, she lived in Crocs, so I didn't have to worry about it. No more. So I don't have to worry about it again. All right, the ripped white denim shorts. There was some distressing on here, on the bottom there, and look right in here. I could not get these zipped. These are by BP. Couldn't get them on. They were only $29, so I was really excited about the price, but they don't fit. And I do. I would exchange them for another size, but honestly, I did just get a pair of white uh, denim walking shorts from Loft Outlet, so I don't really need them. All right, so the tie shoulder tank that I'm wearing by Treasure and Bond in black is $45. Again, I do need to think on it. I do like the fit. I'm not going to say I don't like the fit, but what I don't like is these little knots up here, which are cute when you're wearing it sleeveless. Um, If I were to wear this to work, I'd have to wear a tank underneath of it and a, a little sweater over top of it. And that little sweater over top of it would, again, there's just enough bulkiness there for it to look kind of weird. Um, so, I don't know, I've got to think on it. Let me know your thoughts. They're calling these washed denim shorts. Um, there may be like a chambray material, I would guess in green by Treasure and Bond, $39. These were super comfortable. I do like them. 40 is the most I would pay for some shorts, but I do like these. The kimono, which they're calling the Everyday Solid Ruana in pink. It is a pretty pink. It's a nice light pale pink. It does look good like over a dark color like this, $39. I'm gonna have to think on this because Honestly, I have so many tops like this, um, and I just got one from Wantable that I'm keeping, so um, I'm not really sure that this one's gonna stay. So that's gonna go in the maybe pile, I'm not gonna chuck it in the box. And then last are Cozy Shorts by Circle X. And these were those just like kicking around everyday shorts, go for a walk shorts, that kind of thing. And this gorgeous coral. I just love this color. These are $18.85. So that is an awesome price for some shorts. Um, I mean, I don't think you can get something like this for less expensive at, say, Target. Like, I think you would be right around the same price point at Target or even at Walmart. So um, so I do like these, these are definitely staying. All right, well, that's what I have. There is a $20 styling fee <coughs> that does get refunded when they, um, when, when you buy something. So if you buy nothing, you lose the $20. And that's why I typically do pick a few things that I know I'm gonna keep, even if I can find just one thing at the $20 price point. Um, which was like that, well, these shorts, but I, did I pick out these shorts? I don't know if I picked out these shorts or not. It doesn't tell you. Like in some of the other ones, it says you picked this. It doesn't tell you. Um, but these shorts are the black t-shirt. were great examples of some really budget-friendly pieces. There is no discount either. So it's not like if you, you know, sometimes with like Wantable or even Stitch Fix, Wantable sends you, I think, about seven things. And if you buy five, you get 20% off. With Stitch Fix, if you buy all five, you get the 25% off. I want to be 20 or 25, I don't know. But anyway, you get a discount. I think it's 20 for Wannable. Um, sometimes I'll have four things that I like and one thing that I'm eh about. Um, and I'll keep, I'll keep the fifth thing just because with the discount, it actually makes it less expensive, if that makes sense. Um, there is no discount with this. It's just, here's the prices, take it, don't take it, whatever you want. So that's, I think, all the information you need to know about Nordstrom. Let me know what you think, what you would have kept. Um, maybe you love one-piece bathing suits. Maybe you're not with me on that. A lot of people do love them. They still make them. Um, but for me, they're just hard to get on. Once they're wet, I can't get them back up if I take it off for any reason at all. Um, and they just don't, 
for me, for my figure. They don't do much for me. Even with that ruching, it still looked like um, there was a beach ball underneath my bathing suit. And I understand, listen, that's my beach ball. I take full responsibility for that. But I still try to make it look less like a beach ball. You know what I'm saying? All right, well, thanks so much for tuning in. Um, I hope you had fun. I always have fun doing these videos. I always have fun trying on different things. I don't have fun making decisions. <coughs> um, and because I'm keeping both pairs of shoes, that's probably going to put this pink kimono in the discard pile. Only because, you know, I have just gotten a wantable in. I've got a stitch fix coming in. And, you know, I do have to stay on somewhat of a budget. Not that my husband would say that I can even do that. But um, I just want to thank you all for tuning in and being part of our YouTube family. Um, there is an active giveaway going on with my YouTube Mystery Bundle Battles with my good friend Monique from Monique's Unique Critique. Um, I will link um, my video down below for that. And then for my video, you can go to her video if you haven't already and vote. Monique is creaming me. Um, again, two times in a row, and I don't think the third time is going to be the charm for me. I really don't. Um, got some nice things, but she seems to be getting some awesome things. So unless she gets a major dud, I got no shots. So we'll have to have a replay. We'll have to do it again, Monique, because I got to get a shot. And I have to tell you that I got some other mystery bundles in, in between. Um, and so Chloe and I did like our own little kind of fun mystery bundle battle. And even she beat me. I don't know. I guess I just don't have the luck with some of those. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks again for tuning in. Please consider hitting the like, subscribe, and the notification bell. And we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.